Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas Okay. This is Trinity College London ISC1. My name is Angelina. I am your interlocutor for your speaking and listening test. What's your full name? I'm Fatima Tafia. It's where, my full name. Where are you from? I'm from Sri Lanka. Okay. What's your topic's title for today? My topic's title is family. What are your four topic points? My four topic points are watching TV with family, eating out with family, buying gifts for family, and traveling with family. Okay. What kinds of TV programs do you like to watch with your family? I like to watch cartoons and comedy movies. Okay. Uh, what time of the day do you like to watch TV with your family? I like to watch uh, at evening. Okay. And what kinds of shows you think are not appropriate to watch with family? I think fighting scenes, mm -hmm. um, some horror scenes. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Where do you usually like to eat out with your family? I like to eat with my family at restaurants. Okay, could you tell and me more about the restaurant where you eat out with your family? I ate with I ate um with my family in Mazar restaurant. That restaurant is really peaceful and beautiful. I ordered so many foods and we eat, we ate together, we talked together, we enjoyed very much. Okay, all right. What kind of food do you like to eat when you go out to a restaurant or cafe? Um, I like to eat soup noodles, um, chicken grill, and shawarma. Okay, what kinds of gifts do you like to buy for your family? I like to buy uh, clothes, um, toys, and flowers. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about a gift that you recently bought for your family? I bought some clothes for my family to their birthdays. Okay. And uh, could you tell me where do you like to travel with your family? I like to travel to... France with my family okay. because there are uh, so many beautiful places that's why I like all right so how do you travel with your family how how do you travel I like to travel uh, a flight Mm -hmm. by flight okay all right uh what do you like to eat when you travel with your family i like to eat with my family uh, 
some drinks, cold drinks, and fruits. Okay, all right, okay. Uh, so could you tell me about an experience when you recently traveled with your family? Yes, of course, sure. Um, I got so many experience and we enjoyed um, recently we went um, a beach to the beach uh, there are so many people um, the beach is very beautiful um, really we went that time uh, like 5 30 it's a sunset time it's look it's looked um, really beautiful thank you thank you so much this is the end of part one now part two i'm going to choose a topic for conversation and your topic of conversation that I have chosen for you is education. So do you think it is important to get education? Yes, I think education is very important to everyone. Okay. It helps to improve their knowledge and their future, a good, bright future. Okay. So who is responsible for educating children, parents or teachers? Teachers. Uh, according to my personal op opinion, the parents is the best teacher. They are first steps in their education life. And then they went, uh, they, they will go to school and teachers are respond. Okay. Do you think it is important to educate people about saving the environment? Yes, of course. Okay. Because The environment is not only for educated people, um, it's normally, it's important to serve all people. All right, okay, all right. Would you please like to ask me two questions about education? Mm. Yeah, sure. Do you think, what do you think about education is important? I think it is very important to get education, uh, not just on the knowledge level, but also to educate yourself about emotions of other people and to educate oneself about how to protect the environment and all. I think it's really, really important to get knowledge. So, how education is grown in your society? I think now because of internet and information technology, everybody has an access to information. And when people start getting information, this is how they can educate themselves. So I think it's very easy now to have an access to education, information, and even get knowledge of any sort. Thank you so much. This is the end of the test and you have passed. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. So actually, there are three levels, beautiful pass. And then we have... Um, a merit and then we have a distinction so i'm sure that little bit of practice little bit confidence and you will get a merit not distinction but definitely you will get a merit right merit is a little bit above from the past 
All right. Um, now wait for your listening test. And all right. I am going to play a recording about basketball. You have to listen to the recording twice and answer six questions about the recording. Okay. ISE 1. Task 1. Basketball has become one of the most popular team sports in the world. It was invented in 1891 by James Naismith, a sports teacher from the USA. He wrote rules for the game because he wanted to teach his students how to play it. Because he had 18 students in his class, he divided them into two teams of nine to play the game. In these first games, players threw the ball into fruit baskets. It took a long time to play because every time the ball went into the basket, someone had to climb up a ladder to take the ball out. From 1893, many colleges in the USA started playing basketball. After a few years, they reduced the number of players in each team to five. The first basketball league began in 1898 in the USA. There were six teams in the league. Trenton Nationals were champions in the first season. Unfortunately, the league was not very popular, and it ended after a few years. Basketball soon became popular all over the world. The first international match took place in Russia in 1909. Basketball is now played in nearly every country in the world. Now listen again. Basketball has become one of the most popular team sports in the world. It was invented in 1891 by James Naismith, a sports teacher from the USA. He wrote rules for the game because he wanted to teach his students how to play it. Because he had 18 students in his class, he divided them into two teams of nine to play the game. In these first games, players threw the ball into fruit baskets. It took a long time to play because every time the ball went into the basket, someone had to climb up a ladder to take the ball out. From 1893, many colleges in the USA started playing basketball. After a few years, they reduced the number of players in each team to five. The first basketball league began in 1898 in the USA. There were six teams in the league. Trenton Nationals were champions in the first season. Unfortunately, the league was not very popular, and it ended after a few years. Basketball soon became popular all over the world. The first international match took place in Russia in 1909. Basketball is now played in nearly every country in the world. All right, now I'm going to ask you some questions about the recording. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so could you tell me what job did James Naismith do? He did basketball play. Sports and how to teach? Sports teacher. He was a sports How teacher. to play. Okay, how to play, right. How many players were on the first basketball teams? 18. First basketball teams, first one. First basketball teams are five, number five. Nine players. Okay, what did the students throw the balls into? What did the students throw the balls into? Into fruit basket. Okay, what happened in 1893? 1893 in USA played basketball okay. and fighting. Little, little answers. Don't give big answers. It's small answers. Okay. Okay, how many teams were in the first league? Five teams. Five. 
six beautiful six 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 okay where was the first international basketball match in russia we just need one more answer correct and you can pass okay because at least three answers should be correct okay okay mm -hmm. so it's fine let's continue now okay okay right now part two of listening i am going to play a recording about the first color film what the first color film you are not allowed to take any notes okay you will just listen to the recording and tell me in few words what is the recording about ISE 1. Task 2. Color films are older than you think. Did you know that even some silent movies were made in color? One of the most popular films of all time was a silent movie called A Trip to the Moon. It was made in France in 1902. The film is a story about a group of people who fly to the moon and meet strange insects living there. Most films at this time were only in black and white, but A Trip to the Moon was special. It was sent to Paris to be made into a colour film. To make it colour, each part of the film had to be painted with coloured paints and brushes. It took 200 people to finish the work. For a long time, People thought that this film was lost, but in 1993, a copy of it was found. You can now see the film in colour in a museum in Spain. Right. Could you please tell me in few words, what is this recording about? The recording about first colour film. Okay. All right, thank you. Now listen to the recording once again. Write down six facts from the recording. Six facts from the recording, okay? okay. You're allowed to take notes now. Let's listen. Color films are older than... Color films are older than you think. Did you know that even some silent movies were made in colour? One of the most popular films of all time was a silent movie called A Trip to the Moon. It was made in France in 1902. The film is a story about a group of people who fly to the moon and meet strange insects living there. Most films at this time were only in black and white, but A Trip to the Moon was special. It was sent to Paris to be made into a colour film. To make it colour, each part of the film had to be painted with coloured paints and brushes. It took 200 people to finish the work. For a long time, people thought that this film was lost, but in 1993, a copy of it was found. You can now see the film in colour in a museum in Spain. All right, now, beautiful. Could you please tell me six facts from the recording? Yes. The recording about first colour film. It made 1902 at France. It's it was sent to Paris and Thank you. 
Do you know about silent movies? And most of the people use brush for color films. And 200 people uh, finish their work. 1993, in 1993, uh, they are copied the color films we found. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now I'll ask you some follow-up questions. Where was a trip to the moon made? Moon made a front. That is correct. Was the trip to the moon a successful film? Yeah. Sorry. Was a trip to the moon a successful film? Yes. Okay. Successful film. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what were films usually like at that time? That time, black and white movies. And what is A Trip to the Moon about? Silent movie. It's a tracked moon. Mm -hmm. But what is it about? What is what is it about? Beautiful. It's about uh, painting. It's about people flying to the moon and I... meeting insects there. Meeting? Meeting insects there. You know what is an insect like mosquitoes and flies yes. and butterflies, yeah. insects. Congratulations, you have passed your speaking and listening test. Yay. Okay, Thank you. Just, you. you need a little bit practice to uh, write down notes. Okay, fast pass, okay. not a lot of writing, little, little writing, 1903 found, uh, film Paris. Okay, first time 1902. Okay, so little, little writing. Don't try to write the full sentence because those notes are just for you. Examiner is not going to check those notes. Okay. Okay, I, will. I just want to explain to you uh, how to take notes. Galip, I hope so you are watching as well. Yeah, um, yeah, sure. Okay, how to take notes. For example, we have this paragraph in here. Color films are older than you think. Older than you think. Uh, silent movies were made in color. Uh, no, not this. This is not one of the most popular films. Most popular films of silent film. Name of the film: Trip to the Moon. France. It was made. You can you can take notes like made. France made nineteen o two. See, you have taken two notes then, right? Made. Sorry. To made France, okay. Um, okay, then story. You underline the word story. People fly to moon, okay. People to moon. People fly to moon. People flying to moon, okay. Uh, meet insects or meet meet insects, okay. Hmm. Story. Now you give a small heading. Story. Flying to moon, insects, meeting insects. This is how you take your notes. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, then mm, what else? Uh, it was sent. Now you copy the word sent and Paris. So you remember, sent to Paris, sent Paris. Even if you will use two words and you will not use any connectors, your examiner would know that, oh, this person knows how to take notes. Right? Okay, yeah. after that, uh, painted paints and brushes, painted with, painted with paints and brushes. 200 people finish, okay? 200 people finish work. 
Yeah. And then a uh, 1993 copy found. 1993 copy found. Copy found. Yes. And film now museum Spain. Spain now film in even if you will say now film museum Spain even if you will say now film in Spain museum it will be correct you can say it in any order do you understand how to take notes okay, okay. Asima, do you understand beautiful yes I understood how to take notes no writing full found made just quickly you write 1902 okay France all right. After that, you choose a story, flying to moon, little, little words, insects. Okay. After that, you go for 1993, copy, found. Okay. Copy, found. You can even write shorthand language. Okay. There's no need to write the full spelling. No need. Now, Spain. Okay, now Spain, museum, that's all. Now Spain, museum, that's fine. Examiner will know that you answered the question. Any confusion now about taking notes? No. 